This season of The Intern is brought to you by Wernth Lewis and Company, Farmers Insurance Riverside Agency Point, and Target. This episode of The Intern is brought to you by Farmers Insurance Riverside Agency Point. Previously on The Intern. Your task is to raise as much money as possible for the City of Hope organization. Thank you for coming out today. Inviting people to donate to a good cause. Team White raised $1,696.98, which means Team White won this task. Paul is the person that's eliminated. Zach will all will be eliminated. It's a really great company to work for in that they offer a lot of um, professional development and a lot of opportunity for growth. So as an employee, it's, it's a great opportunity to start at one level and be able to excel and grow with the company. There's so many different avenues within farmers. There's claims, there's adjusting, there's the marketing side, there's the recruitment side, there's the training. So many different avenues that you can go as, a, as a, an employee. So I think the growth is overall one of the biggest perks with the company. Farmers is a company that's looking to be very involved at the local level. So upon doing much research, we want we saw the opportunity for with the intern to get involved at the local level. It was such an intriguing idea and something so typical of Cal Poly, you know, hands-on experience that it was definitely something we wanted to be part of. Your task will be to recruit new agent candidates to Farmers Insurance. We are looking to grow organically, and by that we mean bring on new agents. Your task will be to identify quality candidates and bring them into our facility for an info session. What we have done is we will separate you two into two teams. You will be led by two of my top recruiters in our facility, Daniel Perez and Ruben Luna. Now, to change things up a bit, what we've done We've seen that you have been very comfortable with your surroundings. And one of the things that we wanted to do is change it up a bit and have you assign you new teams. With that said, your new teams are as follows. Team Black, which will be mentored by Ruben Luna, will be Ellen Du, Armine Lyle Lee, Chantal Verdusco. Team White, which will be led or mentored by Daniel Perez, will be Karina Busio. R.J. Renzi, Ronnie Underwood, and Sandra Chung. Now in addition to the new teams, one other thing that we wanted to do is there's a couple of you that we have been seeing. We hear a lot of great things about you, but we have yet to see you really step outside your comfort zone and shine. And with that said, we would like to assign team leaders to these two teams. So for Team Black, we have assigned Ellen Du. For Team White, Ronnie Underwood. As your team leads, you will be responsible for making sure that you submit all information to me as well as to your mentor recruiters. With that, 
would like to allow you to break off into your two groups so that you can discuss and further, and further discuss the task with your two mentors. Good luck. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We are, um, we are promoting a career opportunity for uh, Farmers Insurance Agency for people to attend their info session on Friday the 17th. I think it's interesting that um, the white team actually chose to be on campus today because Fridays there's a lot less traffic. It seems that they are not going to be able to get as many participants and individuals interested as I feel that they could if they went to a different location. I think the black team has a good strategy of actually going to the farmer's office and actually being in Riverside and going to the different community, local community offices around there and trying to gain support from the local community. I think for this task, the leaders that were chosen were definitely chosen for a reason because I think both of them have not yet really shown their full potential of their leadership skills. We have two tables set up, a tent. We make flyers, we have business cards, uh, we have a sign-up sheet. Is there like two people? Yeah, so oh, Starbucks, and Starbucks yeah, I mean, okay, the other yeah, people just walking around and people on the way, people on the way. I don't know how people are on the Friday, but it's a library. Yeah, so, all right. Um, Ronnie's doing a good job. So far, He uh, he's the type of person that that you know has really great communication skills so he's always communicating with us. Ronnie does a really great job right now um, when it comes to communication. I don't know if I would have done a better job commu with communicating with the group. I think I would have done a good job in general though but um, you know Ronnie is the leader so we're here for, to support him and, and he's doing a good job so far. You gotta know your players, like their strengths and weaknesses, and you kinda notice one person a little bit more extra room makes them a little bit shine, you know, in a situation where, where they can shine. Oh. Being team leader is fun. I really enjoy it. It was definitely a challenge. You know, I know everyone else is busy You're trying to figure out how to multitask and handle preparing for my midterms as well as manage the team. We really went out to Riverside and we're not only just Riverside, we went out to San Bernardino and we, we hit up a lot of places, not, not only like schools, but we went to libraries, we went to Goodwill centers, career service centers, and we really try to reach out to the community as a whole. As we really, you know, we contributed more as a team and we were, it made us more whole as a team. As the team leader, I try to be as mo more organized than I usually would be, and uh, yeah. I think the black team is extremely unorganized, this task. Jonathan is over there right now, and he let me know what's going on, and it seems that they actually don't have anything together, and they're kind of throwing everything last minute, which is not what he should be doing. I think it could reflect back on Alan, because he's the leader. He's supposed to be the one who is delegating everyone's task and, and telling everyone what to do. I felt like throughout the entire task, I really had good control over what our goals were and what we planned to carry out. I do consider myself a leader. I think it's really interesting having Chantal and Armina on the same team. They're both really strong individuals, so either they're going to completely butt heads or they will have all of their abilities come together and make for a really great team. Today we're here on location at Farmers Riverside Agency Point. It's here that the contestants will see who got the most recruits for Farmer's Information Session. Isn't that right, Erica? That's right, Freddie. The competition's getting tough, and with only one week until the finale, contestants know that the pressure's on, because only one will be named the intern. Now let's go see how they're doing. Have a nice day, Erica. You did. We're here today because Farmer's Insurance is holding an information session for a potential agents and we recruited them and we're excited to see them here today. The contestants have been great. Uh, really overall when you look at each of them they have so much potential. It's been quite an experience helping them grow and providing them with, uh, with feedback as to how they can better themselves overall. I do believe that uh, we were able to see some uh, differences among the two teams. One team a little bit more organized 
one team that was a little bit lax on their communication with us. It'll be interesting to see their presentations uh, to see what really what plans they did on the back end because some of them yielded more results than others and so it'll definitely be a forecast of whether the team that planned better had the better results or if the other team just got really lucky. Well hello ladies and gentlemen. This week you had the opportunity to bring a little bit of the intern to the people who help farmers recruit the best of the best for their information session. Now, Team White, you decided to have a different strategy than Team Black. You chose to recruit locally and stay in the Cal Poly area. While Team Black, you decided your best bet was to go canvassing in Riverside. Well, now you're going to have your opportunity to present in front of our esteemed panel of judges. Do note, unfortunately, though, Terry could not be with us, our head judge, because he was called away on pertinent work, loose, and company business. But instead, we've agreed, we've uh, asked for our, your two mentors from your teams, Ruben and Daniel, to come in and sit and review your presentation. Now, before we begin, you'll notice that there are four business card holders in front of the judges, one for each contestant that will be here at the day's end. So bring your egg in. Now, Team Black, you're excused for now. And Team White, you will be in your presentation. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. We are Team White, and today we will be presenting to you our recruiting plan, along with the number of attendees, followed by a list of our strategic objectives. As you can tell, the first um, the first ad was the Salon on the Bottom. We only had about five people who visited that that ad. Um, the more we the more we looked into it, we decided to add more details. I picked up the equipment um, um, in Riverside myself, as well as um, Ronnie did a really good job at asking Daniel for help um, whenever we needed it and getting other information that we needed. Stuff. Two objectives. One was to recruit 15 people for the event. The second was to target a specific group of people who are self-motivated, business-minded, and confident. Now the judges are going to have the opportunity to ask you all some questions. Can you please tell us? what skills you were able to develop from this particular task. I, from this particular task, the skill that I was able to develop was recruiting. I, I, I saw how Craigslist was really valuable and I saw that on, uh, online recruiting, it's, it's the most effective way to reach a lot of people in a short amount of time. Yeah, I learned the value of personal contacts. Originally, it takes 10 days to process um, reserving a table at Cal Poly Pomona, but we only had seven days pass. So I personally went to the office of Student Life and talked to the person in charge, and he actually, because I was friendly and cordial, he actually bumped up the date. Um, I never really thought about doing online job posts. I was a little worried about it. I didn't think a lot of people would actually, you know, look into it, but I was surprised that we got a lot of applicants through that. So just using the online the internet more, more um, for our own benefit. First, I haven't. I don't have too much of a background in terms of recruiting. I was actually a bit intimidated by the fact of going up to random people and trying to um, solicit um, a career opportunity at farmers. However, with um, the help of um, Aaron, actually, um, he kind of gave me like the courage and like the tools to explain to me how to like go up and approach people. You know, just have like a friendly conversation, like stand up straight. And he really like um, it kind of helped me to be able to communicate with people like comfortably on a professional level. Thank you, Team White. We highly emphasize the Riverside and San Bernardino areas to increase the likelihood of people attending the info session because of the proximity to the location. To accomplish this, we sought out locations we felt would provide us with the most opportunities to reach out to those seeking employment. So with that in mind, we divided ourselves into two groups, the first being myself and Chantel, and the second group being Alan and Armida. Since they were in the area, they would be more inclined to take up the opportunity. It was more, it was easier for them to come to this agency point. And as stated earlier, Farmers um, does a lot of contribution to communities such as those organizations on the board. And more personally, by contributing in the intern, they are allowing of, uh, us a hands-on experience in the agency. Great job, Team Black. And now the judges are going to have the opportunity to ask you all some questions. Please describe what skills you were able to best develop from this task. Creativity, since 
uh, the, we really felt limited in what we could do, so we were kind of forced to um, again, get out of our comfort zone and, and try to find different ways to attract people. We had to really approach different people and be different people, or they have different personalities, and we really had to adapt to their settings and really put ourselves in their shoes and accommodate with them. Had to think in the you know corners of my brain of what I could think would be um, an effective tool, and so I guess being resourceful would be the most um, beneficial. For me personally, it was um, creativity and thinking out of the box. Uh, we couldn't have uh, gotten what we we couldn't have achieved what we did by just doing a tabling event at a school or a career fair. Um, we really had to think of what where we can go and where we could spread that information so that people who are actually looking to start up a real career would be interested in attending. Thank you, team. Thank you. Ellen, positive side. Uh, his team really likes him. They respected him, and we believe that he's a very genuine person. So that really gets conveyed in throughout in his leadership. Uh, but we feel on the, on the negative side or on the opposite side is that he lacked assertiveness and enough um, and follow through. At which, when we gave him the feedback in terms of his group, um, his responsibilities to turn in tasks on time, so he did it. He, he, he dropped the ball. There. That's right. That's right. In terms of Ronnie, Ronnie has a lot of potential. He's very coachable based on uh, feedback from both the student judge and his um, mentor, his recruiter okay. mentor. However, I feel that again, based on the information that was given in terms of his leadership, that he missed opportunities. Okay, show, show even more leadership yeah, ability. More okay, what would you like to say about Chantel? Um, okay. Negative, I have to find a hard Hard to find a negative. Um, okay, then you don't have to have a negative. Okay. I feel like maybe she could have reached out to her natural market because I know that she works nearby. Perfect. I think we have a decision, but it's definitely been a very tough decision. Wouldn't you guys agree? Oh, definitely. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. But I, and think I don't know what the decision is yet either, so I'm in anticipation. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, I think. We have a decision. Okay. Right, welcome back, contestants. As you know, it's time for eliminations. Uh, after some time, the judges have deliberated and decided we will not be staying in the competition. But before we get to that, we do have some feedback for the team. We would like to extend feedback to Team White first. Team White, um, I think you're really, you did a really great job, uh, but my job here is to provide you with some uh, uh, constructive criticism. And I, I would say that the biggest concern that I had uh, with your team is that you remained in your comfort zone. You really weren't willing to get out of your comfort zone. And I mean that by the fact that you stayed at Cal Poly for your event. Um, realizing that the event was actually held in Riverside. Um, that also was apparent uh, when you canceled the event at Cal State uh, San Bernardino. I feel like you missed an opportunity there uh, by canceling that event and not rescheduling it or maybe trying to uh, accommodate the, the weather and maybe going inside or something like that. So I feel like maybe that was the, uh, the biggest uh, uh, negative that I could get for your team. To offer you a bit of positive feedback, uh, we do believe that you worked well overall as a team. You submitted all your plans and your RSVP lists on, in a timely manner. You thought outside the box in terms of other recruitment sources and sites that we had never thought about. So we've learned from you and your team. So thank you to that. And now we have feedback for Team Black. Team Black, you've all worked very hard. And I would like you to know that we've all identified that this is a group of strategic thinkers. And it was a great idea to make sure that you localize your recruiting efforts to the community around farmers and churches. Team Black, in business, there's a saying that says, how you do one thing is how you do everything. And in this project, you failed to turn in the project in on time with your game plan. Um, it was actually never submitted to the team leader. 
So in business, that's something that's just unacceptable and cannot be done. And if you were my employee, um, it would just be unacceptable for, for the team leader not to follow through on the commitment to hit a deadline. Both teams worked very hard, but congratulations, Team White, you won this task. And as a result of being the winners, you also get a cash prize. Good job, team. As you know, there is room for only four finalists. And choosing the final four has been a very, very difficult task. And each of you have demonstrated your own unique skills. So thank you for your hard work. Now, if I call your name, please come forward. The first person I'd like to call is Karina. Shanta, Armina, and now I would like to call forward RJ and Ronnie. RJ, please tell the judges why you should be the next intern. I feel that I worked really well um, with my group and. I have been able to get along with pretty much everyone um, on um, all contestants on the intern. So I feel if I was given another opportunity to take on another task, I would be able to work well with them and to ensure that we were successful in winning that task again. Ronnie, please tell the judges why you should be the next intern. I think that I should make it to, to the next level. I believe that the, all three tasks we've done have worked really hard. We, I, I believe that I was challenged in the third task to take on a leadership role, and I, I, I believe that I did that, I met that challenge, and I believe we won this challenge. And Thank you. You guys can step back. This is getting old. RJ, you may take the card Ronnie, Alan, Lyle, and Sandra, you are not ready to be the next intern. Please go back to class. Thank you for your time. So please don't say it'll be okay. I didn't see the logic or the reasoning or the justification for having RJ continue in the competition. Not to say that I would have been a better fit, but this past, this task, he did the least amount of work out of everybody on our team. So with that said, I just don't see how they saw him to go on versus myself or Sandra. They chose me to be a leader because they, they have heard a lot of great stuff but haven't seen it. And I worked really hard, we won this task, and I still get eliminated. So I, I really don't see the point of me being the leader, us winning, and then I'm eliminated. What really surprised me, I thought all the um, three of the four people that um, moved on um, deserved it. Um, I was really surprised with RJ, just because he's a close friend of mine. I'm a little disappointed being eliminated, but I guess the upside is you just, um, I, I get to have a life again. After today's elimination, I didn't, I didn't really feel anything, to be honest. Um, I'm not sure how to feel. It was a great experience, and that's all I can really take from it. I, did my, I know I did my best. And, and that's all I can really ask for. Yeah, I, I'm glad I did the intern actually. I I got to know my my brothers more, brothers of Delta Sigma Pi more closely. And I'm glad I met everybody that's on the contestants. I, I'm glad I met everybody on the intern.
feel like the judging process needs to be worked on because I have no clue how they're picking the final four. I was very angry at first and then I got emotional. So I don't know why. I feel like Armina is going to win because Karina does have a lot of good ideas but sometimes she's a little overwhelmed with all her the activity that, that she's involved in, like DSP and schoolwork, so I think Armina will take the win. Just